don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market. And before Guys, do not be fooled. If you're a Shiba Inu holder, I need you guys to understand that do not be fooled by this major move. Currently, Shiba Inu is doing something that we all know, and I'm going to be going over exactly where Shiba Inu is going to go and why it's still one of the top, top coins and exactly what we're experiencing in the crypto markets and why you guys should be prepared for a major, major move. So let's jump. <laughs> Let's jump right into things. Shiba Inu right now is literally on the cusp of overtaking Dogecoin. Sitting at a $20 billion market cap on the 11th spot on coin market cap, Shiba Inu still has a lot of room to grow. But recently, we just saw a major move from Bitcoin of a 6% drop. Now, some people may think that the crypto market is crashing. I know some people are panicking. I know some people are confused, but I'm telling you guys not to be fooled. This is merely a simple correction. And I can promise you guys that what we have right here is something that was predicted in the charts. You see, yesterday I talked about how Bitcoin is overdue for an ABC type correction. As you guys can see right here, if I show you all this long-term support line, and this is going to make sense to you sheep holders in a minute, you can see that Bitcoin, ever since we hit this peak around here, which where I was shorting Bitcoin, you guys can see that we've come down, come up to retest this line and coming down. Now, this is what we call an ABC correction. Now, on the Discord, which I have on my private Discord, you guys can see that yesterday I talked about how yesterday, you guys can see here, yesterday at 1109, I talked about ABC type correction, 53 to 57 Bitcoin can happen, okay? Not ruling it out. Now, these aren't just arbitrary numbers. Remember, in my videos, I always tell you guys that the charts will tell us what we need to know. And as you guys can see right here, if we scroll down, okay, I wanted to show you guys this chart because this is what I posted yesterday because some people were confused. You guys can see that this chart predicts exactly the move that we're having right now, A, B, and C. You can see that the bottom zone as to where we're gonna go right here is exactly where we are right now the 58 to 57,000 area. And hopefully this is going to be the bottom as to where Bitcoin corrects. Now, what does this have to do with Shiba Inu? Well, I'm gonna show you some of the charts. Basically, when Bitcoin tends to correct in this manner, we have a major pullback on all cryptocurrencies. As you guys can see on Dogecoin, we're having a pullback. On Axis, one of my favorite coins, we're having a pullback. And some people are starting to panic thinking the market is about to crash. Now, this is why I'm saying, me personally, I'm not entirely fooled. What I do know is that recently there have been so many long le and leverage positions, okay? Buying with leverage is something that people do in order to increase their gains. As someone who does this from time to time, I can tell you that it does substantially increase your gains, but it also increases your risk. And I would never advise anyone to use leverage positions. Now, currently we're sitting at a time where when Bitcoin drops like this, those in leverage positions thinking to go long on Bitcoin may have lost a substantial amount of money. And these corrections consistently wipe out traders and wipe out people who are long with over leveraged positions. So as a sheep holder, when we're looking at the chart and we're looking at the graph, we can see that Shiba Inu is doing exactly what it needs to do. There is no major panic. Currently, Shiba Inu, as you guys can see, when it broke through this huge, huge resistance here, the last bullish price target, you guys can see that it went to exactly where it needs to go. If we take the length from here to here, as you guys can all see, let's change the color so you can see that right there. Let's change it to a better color. Um, I'm gonna use yellow. You guys can see that if we take the price target from here to here, from the start of the move to the end of the move, we can see that this is the same zone that, um, okay, in fact, this is not good. Let's go ahead and um, change this color. You guys can see that this move right here is exactly in the same exact zone where we need it to be. So hopefully um, this kind of area is where we um, where we need to be. So currently, um, you know, as you guys can see right here, We've got a situation on Sheep where I was watching the charts and I saw us drop right down to this level. But this is why don't be fooled. This is our long-term support line. On the hourly chart, as long as we're getting supported all along this line, we still are set for another breakout, okay? You see, this pattern on Sheep has happened time and time again. We have a triangle pattern, we rally above it. Then we have another triangle pattern, rally above it. And it looks like this is gonna be continuing until Sheep manages to run out of steam. Now, I don't know when Shiba Inu is gonna run out of steam. I think once we break one of these support lines, you guys can see that I have three major ones. I have the long-term one here, this orange one. I have this orange one also here. And then I also have this new one, this blue one right here, guys. So far, Sheep is exactly at the price target. And if we can manage to break 56 cents currently, Shiba Inu will be moving to another 
all-time high of around 64 cents. That is another major move. And this major move that we just had down shows you how strong Shiba Inu is. For example, when cryptocurrencies tend to move down, if you see a long candle like this, most people don't know what that means. And I'm gonna quickly explain to you what this means for sheep holders. Basically, you see this bit right here, okay? This just shows us, okay, um, I'm gonna show you, okay? So from here to here, this just shows us where the actual price range is. Here is the lowest ever price, okay? And here is where the price actually closes. So this is the last ever price for sheep in that zone, okay? So for example, in an hour, sheep went from here to here. But at the end of the hour, Shiba closed here. What this shows us is that when Shiba was down here, people bought it all the way up as quickly as possible. So that means there's a lot of buying pressure on these areas, meaning that Shiba is very, very strong. If you get a candle that is red, okay, and it's just huge and thick, okay, it means that if it doesn't spike up like this, nobody is buying it. But because we have these long wicks, it shows us that this is buying pressure. Right here, this shows how many people are buying sheep so close to the line. When you see a wick that is far from the line, you know that there's tons and tons of buying pressure, guys, which is why when you get these huge green candles that go straight up, that is all buying, guys, okay? So, so far, what we have is a situation where sheep is still on track to achieve a very, very decent level. And this is why I'm saying, don't be confused. Bitcoin can and probably will go to the 56 to $57,000 area. We don't know for sure, but the price target is around this zone, okay? And this is what I talked about on the Discord yesterday night, where some people were confused. And I said, don't rule it out because at the end of the day, people are still too bullish. There were still the Bitcoin futures and we still need to see how this plays out. And we also always need to remain objective. I understand that Shiba is doing great. People are making money. I'm making money too but we need to always remain objective and not let our emotions get the best of us. That way we can make the best and logical decisions and maximize our gains. So currently for me, what am I doing right now? And what do I expect next from Sheep Inu? Currently I'm managing my positions, making sure I don't have any over leveraged positions. I'm also making sure that if Bitcoin is to correct down to this line, I can get a good entry on some altcoins. This is what I'm talking about. You guys can see coins like Axis. Um, maybe you don't want to buy this coin. Maybe you shouldn't. But I'm just going to use it as an example as to where the market can kind of trend to. You guys can see that Axis has had a long term support line being supported here, here, here and here. But what does this teach us about the market and what does this teach us about sheep? It teaches us that when Bitcoin corrects, it usually corrects to the last level of support. And as you guys can see in the future, when we bounce from these areas, it's usually the last kind of areas where you can get in before a major bounce. The same thing kind of happening on Dogecoin. I did buy a small amount of Dogecoin around this area because I knew that the long-term support line is where it should bounce. The same thing on Axis and the same thing on Shiba Inu, guys. So as you guys can see, when we have it bounce on the support line, we know that there is a lot of buying pressure. So currently, what am I doing now? I'm waiting to see where Bitcoin will go. I want to see if this ABC correction will play out. Realistically, this could be the low. We could reverse here because we've already touched the perfect zone where we need to touch. And this ABC correction could potentially be complete, but we can't rule out anything. Over the next couple of hours and the next couple of days, we will need to see if Bitcoin manages to stay in this area or gets a nice bounce from this area. As you guys can also see, there was a lot of buying pressure in this area right here, showing us that Bitcoin is still being bought up in the millions. So currently, Currently, what we need to see for Shiba now is we need to see if Shiba can break the 56 cents resistance or carry on going up, bouncing in between 50 to 49. So, so far, is Shiba strong? Very, very strong. Sheep is very, very strong, guys. I would say it's strong by about my home calculations. Let me just do this by about at least, okay, 90% guys. So right now, Sheep is just one of the strongest altcoins out there. And I would say that it still has the major potential to carry on and breaking all-time highs. And if we manage to get above this new all-time high resistance line of 56 cents, we are going to be in a very, very good scenario, guys. So for Sheep holders, it's still a very good time to see if we can go on. Me personally, I don't want to enter Sheep right now. I already have some holdings. I'm just watching to see how things go. And for Bitcoin, I'm watching to see if we manage to get down to this 57 area, $57,000 area, just like we were talking about yesterday on the private Discord. Now, if you enjoyed this video, okay, don't forget to leave a like because I do have a video coming later on the future for Sheep and how it's going to be on CoinMarketCap currently being at the 11th largest cryptocurrency by market cap. And if it's going to have the same fate as Dogecoin as to where people start to pile their money into different things as they seek newer and greater returns. Definitely going to be interesting, but don't be fooled by this. If you wake up and you see the crypto market in red, 
understand that this is a normal correction and nothing to panic about just as yet. And if there is something to panic about, I will be telling you guys and I will be informing you guys. And it's going to be interesting to see where this next move goes because I believe that on some cryptocurrencies, this could be a very decent opportunity. With that being said, let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next awesome video.